In 2010, Mingyu Rinpoche was traveling the globe, teaching meditation to thousands of people around the world. As a Tibetan Buddhist monk and well-known meditation master, he was responsible for three monasteries in Asia and more than a hundred meditation groups on four continents. He was also an active participant in scientific research on how meditation affects the brain and a best-selling author with books and online videos in more than 20 languages. One day that year, Rinpoche announced his plan to leave on a three-year retreat. The idea of a three-year retreat might sound extreme, but it's fairly common in his tradition. Advanced meditators usually do their retreats in monasteries or hermitages where they're cared for by attendants and study and meditate in relative comfort. But Mingyur Rinpoche had a different idea. For years, he had dreamt of leaving everything behind and living as a wandering yogi with no home, no possessions, and no plan. Just limitless curiosity and a willingness to explore his experience through the lens of meditation. He was inspired by the ancient tradition of wandering yogis who would leave comfort and predictability behind. Instead of waiting for problems, they would actually seek out challenging situations. They would beg for their food and find shelter in caves, all to strengthen their practice and gain insight into the true nature of their minds. Many, like Rinpoche, dream to practice wholeheartedly in this way. But few actually do it. The harsh reality of having no home and no belongings is different from the fantasy. One tends not to think about the cold, the hunger, the wild animals, and illness. Nevertheless, one day in June 2011, Mingyur Rinpoche walked out of his monastery in Bodh Gaya, India, and away from his life on the international stage to begin just such a retreat. It lasted four and a half years. <laughs> 